life? Uh, I think so. Let me bring that a little closer. Yep. And she will clean it. <clears throat> Here we go. Clean with the shop towel. Okay. Hmm. Can we share on social media? Oh, yeah. People are coming in. Hello! Surprise! No video today! Instead of video, we got some live. Hello, everybody! Argentina! <laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome to a dry brushing live with Katja. Today I'm going to do something that I love the most and that is, I don't know where I'm supposed to look, I'm supposed to look at the camera, right? So, Whatever you want. Uh, today I'm going to do some dry brushing, which is my favorite technique. I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to just dry brush. It's very simple. Uh, once you learn it, once you master it, uh, you will love it so much and you will use it all the time. Uh, you can... Uh, do heavy dry brushing you can do light dry brushing you can uh, she achieve like a weather look with a dry brush you can achieve a like sophisticated look so you can like possibilities are endless and uh uh i don't know uh how to uh turn my phone uh, don't disturb i put don't disturb but it's still i'm still getting notifications <laughs> so i'll figure that part out uh just don't worry about it. Yeah. Just don't even worry about it. Just do yeah. your thing. So, oh yeah, I'll do my thing. <laughs> Hi, Belinda. Uh, thank you guys for being here today. Um, so, I got this table. I sent it to the top. Uh, I I don't know if they can see. I think they can see, right? They can, you can see, see nice. Fine. You, okay. I can zoom it in, but then they yeah. can't see your face. No, but it's fine for now. I can... Exp exactly. They perfect. Can voices, That's right? perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, we got this table... Oh, I sand it to the top and uh, it has like two uh, tops. So I sand it to the bare wood. I love, I think I'm, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do like a wash, like a gray wash on top. But we got this beautiful work right here. Like all these gorgeous things. So when I see things like this, I, I have to have the, the piece. Like when I see a piece, it doesn't matter what it is. It's a table, or it's a buffet or a dresser. When I see this, I'm like, yes. Uh, I didn't buy this table. I got it from my friend. She gave it to me. So I was like, yeah. And uh, when I see this, I know exactly what I wanted to do. And that is in the majority of the time I want to do dry brushing because I think dry brushing complements uh, all these gorgeous details here. So I painted in Hurricane Gray, uh, which is a beautiful gray color. I really love it. I did a dresser, dresser not long ago using uh, Hurricane Gray, which is here. I did a beautiful dresser with gold, a statement piece, and uh, I sold that one like in, I don't know, a day or two. It went so fast. So it's a gorgeous color and I love how it's um, go look with white. So for dry brushing, uh, I'm going to... Yes, Christine, I know. Oh, I will tell you about that too. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use cotton to do some dry brushing here. And maybe I'm going to add some gold. But first we're going to do white dry brushing. And I'm going to use this brush it's a premium cheap brush uh, by dixie bell i really love this brush it's a bristle brush the reason i love this one because it's thick it's much thicker than the than the cheap one inexpensive one uh which you still can do the job but i love this that has a thickness and uh i don't know i love dry brushing with this so i don't like to dry brush with synthetic brushes because I feel like they don't give you the effect as 
uh, good as um, as a bristle brush. So oh, we're gonna do that now. And also what I have here is a, a cardboard board, like a piece of a whatever. You just need something. Once you uh, dip the brush into your paint, you need something to unload and then you're going to dry brush. So now I'm going to show you that and let's get Those started. Are really exotic bird. We have exo exotic birds I in our yard. No, I've never seen that bird before. That was the most and, exotic um, bird I've ever seen. So I told this morning Christina that I'm not doing video. She told me she's not doing video. I'm like, I'm not doing video neither. I'm going live and Christina is like, I'm going live too. So everybody just know Christina Muscari with Pretty Distress, she's going live after this on her channel. If you guys want to jump uh, after this on her channel and check out, uh, she's going to do stools and uh, it, it just happened like that. So uh, it's fun day for lives. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm going to put my phone a little bit closer oh, here. To hit the like button before you start. So before we start, I will video. really appreciate if you guys hit the like button before you leave because you're going to leave and then you're going to forget to hit the like button. But I need those likes because the more likes I get, the more YouTube is going to recommend my video so the more people are going to see and uh, i'm moving this phone too much but i'm like not that like good at going live all of mexico i love mexico i want to go to mexico not now but <laughs> so many countries here so many countries oh wow barbie oh my god so much thank you so much wow <laughs> what was that is that membership no, that's just a super chat. It's like a donation. Oh my God, Barbie. Thank you so much. Like, I, I'm like, I appreciate so much. I wasn't <laughs> expecting this. <laughs> wow. You guys are like the best. Oh I, my God, I got to show them this. Uh, Duke and the squirrel. Uh, oh. Do you know that? Duke is... Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Duke is so much into the the squirrel. We have a squirrel in the backyard and uh, he's staring at it. I want to tell you, Duke boy is doing better. We spoke to the vet and uh, she told us to take him off the second medicine that we put him on. So now he's coming back. He's being Duke boy again without seizures. He's, uh, he's whining. He wants to go catch the squirrel, uh, but we won't let him because we love squirrels. So uh let me start now this oh my god this one has like a d dixie dirt in there i know you guys love duke that's why i wanted to tell you duke is doing much better he will probably come here once the squirrel leave so let me show you duke before i start <laughs> no he's too excited here he is he's too excited okay so this is how much i got uh cotton you see nothing that's like really nothing so what i'm going to do now i'm going to unload that you see i put that big thing here you see how thick that is and then i go on the even cleaner part unload unload it's better to unload more and go, go back than to leave too much you don't want. Like it's better to almost have nothing than to have too much. I, in general, that's my motto when I paint. Whatever I do, it's better to go lighter and then add than to go heavy and then you're in trouble. You can find it. <laughs> Not real trouble. It's just like a, you know, chalk painting trouble. So I'm going to start here. Let me put phone even closer so you guys can see. I'm just going. Look at that prettiness. How pretty that is. You want me to reverse it and show them on the good camera? So to flip the camera? Totally up to you if you want to do that, yeah. Um, your voice won't be as loud, but... We'll yeah, I'm not going to be talking. I'm just going to be dry brushing now. There you go. So now, 
I'm going to, because my brush, I can feel the brush is already like nothing is there. Now I'm gonna touch this one to get some more. And then I'm gonna do the same, unload. And we're just gonna keep repeating that. This is very light dry brushing I'm doing today. I have a technique where I do the heavy dry brushing. I'm not doing that today. This is just a light brushing. So now we're gonna continue doing. Oh, that thing turn on. The fan. I will. Is that fan loud for you guys? Did you just hear that turn on? I mean, not a fan, it's actually a water heater. Do you guys hear that? It sounds like a AC unit running. Let us know if you guys can hear that and if it's annoying so we can turn it off. Uh, no, they say not at all. Okay, so that's So we're great. good. I can turn that off, but I guess we're good. So how much of this you want? That's totally up to you. It's totally, totally up to you. You can do heavy, you can do light, you can do uh, more than uh, one color. There's a lot of countries here today, let me there tell you. There is a lot of countries. Thank you guys for coming today. We loving, we loving, we love having you here. <laughs> I'm a little too excited as usual, but that's normal. You guys know me by now. Costa Rica, I've seen so many countries. I, I've been... I've been uh, a little bit busy behind the scenes, that's why I haven't been reading, but I, I have been reading, I haven't been reading them out loud. Yeah, so, we can they see here, this side? Todo bien. Hmm? <laughs> They're talking Spanish, so you don't understand. Todo bien, I know, todo bien. I know, I know what that means, I know some. <laughs> are, are you filming this side Gacha knows Spanish, enough to talk to my grandparents very well. She, she defends herself very well. <laughs> Florida is a country. It's the closest country. Miami, it depends how you want to look at it. Florida or Miami is pretty much the closest you can get to the United States without actually coming in. <laughs> how pretty this is, right? It does look nice. So, I'm going to add some more here. And in case you put too much of any place, like you're like, oh my God, you know, I added too much. You can just go over with a base color and it's simple as that. You can just fix it with a base color and no big deal. Like it's so forgivable. The uh, dry brushing is so forgivable where like, you know, you can just go back with a base color and you, you will fix the problem where you have blending. If you make a mistake, you know, you're like, oh my God, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so it's much harder to fix the problem, in my opinion. Was she good? Huh? Did I bother you? No. Oh, guys, we got new lighting yesterday. I got much more lighting in my studio now, and I'm so happy because it's much brighter now and much nicer because I really don't see you Hi, Christy. very well. How are you guys? As a rule in dry brushing, should you always put a lighter color on a darker color? No, no. nope, there's no rules. Yeah, there's no, no rules. rules, you can do whatever you want and the possibilities are endless. You can do- You uh, want it to contrast, but it's not a rule. You, exactly. Wow, is it, Carlos knows everything, he can like explain. I'm probably better <laughs> than you by now, just give me a brush. <laughs> we should do a live with Carlos uh, painting, or a video at least, so. We're just trying out these lights, uh, like uh, shop lights, just to get a lot in here. It kind of works. It did good for the top. Like from the top down, we definitely got a lot of light. Now we need more behind us. So we're figuring it all out. But, this but they is... were cheap. They were $60. I mean, relatively cheap for a shop light with four bulbs. So... And you just plug them in and that's it. Yeah, they come, I mean, a lot of these shop lights don't even come with a cord for, you have to wire them in manually, but they came with a cord and everything. Yeah. Home Depot. And hooks and everything. So. Canada, hi Canada. Oh, I missed what she said about me. I was just talking to When you to have Martin. it sideways, the messages go away so fast. I mean, get my We're phone. We're just talking to Martine from Canada. She's saying she wants to get some Dixie Bell when the borders open. 
Did you know one of Maine's most famous residents was quoted saying Maine should be Canada? <laughs> Maine should be Canada? <laughs> We're almost there. We're only a few hours away. Wow, that was nice. That was fast. Yeah. So now how, I'm just lightly adding more and more. And you see, I got more. And I'm just going to... I just keep repeating. So... For dry brushing, you really need patience and don't rush. You don't have, you cannot rush. If you rush, it's not gonna come out good, in my opinion. And when you dry brush, let's say you're dry brushing. The base color is Hurricane Gray. Hurricane Gray, Sorry. we got Hurricane Gray and cotton. Hurricane Gray and cotton. Why don't right. you just put them here, actually? Yeah, here you guys can see. So, when you dry not brushing, really, let me show you, um, I wanna show you, like, let's say this. It's a flat surface. When you dry brushing flood surface, you want to go from top to bottom. You don't want to start here. You don't want to start here and finish here. You want to go always from very top to the bottom. I always go with a grain. And let's say I have a, let's say I'm dry brushing this table top. It's a, let's say it's a big dresser. You want to go all the way from one side and slowly come on the other side for the best results. When I started, I was dry brushing like here, 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 everywhere, and it works. But I'm just telling you what looks much better. It's from one side to another side. Again, it's not a rule. It's just something that I think it makes it look prettier, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> whatever makes you happy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, that is so pretty. I am so in love with it. Are you adding another color or just white and gray? I think I'm just going to add some gold. And uh, so, so pretty. I love this look. It's like, and this sells. This look always sells a lot. Like whitewash, dry brush, gray and white. That I sell immediately. No. I don't know what you mean by that, Laura. Repair the piece. I'm not sure what you mean by that. What gold are you going to use? Uh, I, um, yeah, I think so. I'm going to leave you guys the links in the description below. Uh, so you can uh, click and see what I used. I will link, link everything. The brush, the Dixie Bell. I'm going to link uh, gilding wax. So I'll see how I'm doing with the time. Thank you very much. Yeah, that looks so pretty. What time is this, Carlos? Oh, we're only I just, almost 20 minutes in. Okay, because yeah. I might do a whitewash too. I'm uh, no whitewash. I'm gonna I'm, I'm because I'm have plenty of time. I think I'm going to do a white uh, wash technique, hurricane gray technique on the top of this because I don't want to put stain. I don't want to paint it. So let me get. Um, I was thinking actually to use a brush for this. Let me get a brush. I Okay. I have this little cheap brush. This is cheap, inexpensive brush. I don't know how else to say. So what I do with them, I cut them. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. So Gacha says cheap, cheap? and chip. So C-H-E-A-P and C-H-I-P are the exact same words so good luck because you'll never know which one she's talking about ever so this is a cheap brush <laughs> and cheap brush <laughs> it's an expensive and it's cheap and what i do to them you know how they come like all uneven on top and i don't like that cheap cheap and there you go Somebody understand me at least. <laughs> I have few words like that uh, that I just cannot. I hear them the same, so I pronounce them. Uh, pronounce them the same. So, what I was telling you about the brushes, they come uneven, if you guys know what I mean. Can you give me one new cheap brush from there, that bucket? The cheap one or the cheap one? Cheap one. There. Actually, those are pretty even. Okay, here. This is actually this one are uh, pretty even. So, here, but th they're not really good. Like they're like all loose, and it's okay. 
So they're all loose and they just don't feel good to dry brush with them. So I cut them in half and then they're much more for firm, firm. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. Natasha wants to know what dry brush means. You should tell her after this video that she should watch your workshop Yes, on dry brushing. <clears throat> I, dry have brushing a, me, well, I right. will leave you a link, Natasha, in the description for a workshop where I explain dry brushing. Like, it's just 10 minutes about dry brushing, I demonstrate and I explain well, everything. Gotcha, dry brush workshop on YouTube, it's going to pop right up, we just yeah. did it. You, you can YouTube. also put Katcha workshop, dry brushing workshop, and you will find. So, I'm going to use Pibeo. King Gold Gilding Wax, I have plenty now, I can make throw a party and uh, I'm going to add some of that. I'm just gonna dip a little bit. Mario games, we all love Mario games. I love Mario games too. Oh my god, yeah. Organic, I am a gamer. So, let me see how this... Gotcha is too, but she's, we're different. I will... Uh... I'm more of an action gamer and Katja's more like a chill gamer, like she plays Civilizations and Animal Crossing and I'm playing shooting games and flying games and fighting games and all sorts of games. Oh, we have Mario Kart, Christina, but we don't have Mario Party, but that is We don't have game. Party. That's, you would love that game, Katja, you've never played it. It's a really? Game. Yeah, you would love that. It's for friends, like, it's to play with people. It's really good. So we're just gonna add a little bit of gold everywhere. Just a little bit because I, you know, I won't be me if I don't put some gold on my furniture. Dutti is so mad He's that the done. squirrel was he there in the, the yard. There. He's like so mad. I don't wanna put too much. Oh, but the bird's back. Oh my god, poor Duke boy. Okay. So, just add a little bit of gold. And you can do it with a finger. I always switch between fingers. Whatever feels, whatever, you know, I don't really have. Thank you, Catherine. Hello from Germany. Kirsten, hi. Hello, Germany. The seizures did stop. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys Duke. Duke oh boy. He's, he's, he's looking he's for a squirrel. Duke oh boy. Are you going to get him? Is he still out there? Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, we took him off one of the medications that were really making him a different dog and uh he is much better now and he hasn't had any seizures and he is trying to hunt a squirrel and some birds that are out there so yeah much better much much better and uh those collars are really like we tell everybody now to don't put collars from walmart on oh yeah the, dogs. the so the hearts, so now we know that the hearts, collars, flea and tick are horrible. Yes. Don't ever buy those hearts. And I actually got their number and I'm about to call them. I don't know what I'm going to tell them because I just hate to be that guy that just complains. And we're not complainers. So I don't know what I'm going to tell them, but I want to tell them that it is extremely unfair that that is not known because i can't imagine how many people are going through what we went through i mean we were already contemplating his quality of life i can't imagine how many people don't figure it out and put their pets to sleep because of a cheap collar that is i don't know i wish they would do a better job of announcing that and that's why i want to call them but whatever 
I may or may not do that. But he's now much better. But no he's color. much better. No color for him or Leia. We talk both of, of them and... and, uh, and I sent him a message on Instagram and uh, they sent me a number to call. And then I was like, wow, I feel like one of those people that just calls the complaint department and then they just <laughs> get your little statement and just throw it in the trash. So let's do a wash on top because we have plenty of time. Okay. Let's do some wash. I'm going to move this. And you guys, you want to wash your cheek brush. <laughs> you want to wash it. You don't want to, like, you want to soak it in water and wash immediately, which I'm going to do after the life. So, let me move all these things. I gotta clean my floor. It's really dirty. And now that I have lights, I'm like, oh my god, I need to do some cleaning here. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... Should I give him a sneak peek of next week's video? No. No? <laughs> okay. It's too early. You cannot do sneak peek. They just want to see your whole piece. <laughs> I can do it. I can just show him the corner. <laughs> it's going out. I did the ne uh, next video, uh, next Friday's video I did for uh, my client. Uh, so... I'll it's... do it like this so I can hear you better. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just do the wash. What I have here, let me stand up. Okay. So, I got a cup with water. Uh, they can't really see it. Nothing. No? No. So, I got water. I got a brush, you can use any brush you want. And I'm going to do uh, Hurricane Gray to match, of course, the rest of the table. So. Natasha's 88 year old Russian father says hi. <laughs> hmm? Her dad says hi. Oh, that is so nice, hi. Uh, I don't know, I, on English they pronounce Natasha, Natasha, and in Serbia we say Natasha. I don't know which one. <laughs> How we, they pronounce really your name. Okay. Nice. Oh my god, I got glitter. It's okay. It's glitter. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna make my brush completely wet. Here, let me turn my clothes. Let's do that. And then, you don't want like dripping. You just want wet. You got water there. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. So, I'm gonna get a little bit of gray. Can you see? I think so. Okay, and I'm gonna get more gray. I went so light. A little bit more. How to clean your brushes without ruining your pipes. <laughs> Cleaning brushes uh, won't ruin your pipes if you're using chalk paint because it's water-based. The only time you want to watch out it's a slick stick. is when you use yeah things that harden slick up stick, uh, or a slick stick like a primer or a uh, patina. Yeah, like heavy chemicals, but chalk paint, water-based chalk paint. You do not have to worry about your pipes. You can clean it right in your sink. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna turn this around. And show them this side. It's much easier for me to work this way. Whatever works for you. So this is a wash, basically. Uh, yes, she did sand the top. Yeah, I did um, sand the top long ago. You bring out the wood grain, you wet the chalk paint, like super watery, super duper watery. And some people like to mix water and uh, paint before, mix, and then do. I just go straight. 
it's the band what I want to... Like, it's the band how I It's kind of like a stain, Natasha, because you put on super watery chalk paint and then you remove it with a towel or a cloth or something. Um, kind like of like the concept stain. of stain, but it's with paint and water. It's very natural. And they call it a wash instead of a stain. But yeah, it's like the same thing. Yeah, it is. It is the same. It's just very, this is very natural. It Does the wash stain. only require one coat? If you want that, but if you want it darker, you can keep going. There is no rule. Exactly. It's just like stain. You can keep uh, multiple layers of, uh, applying multiple layers of stain. You can keep applying a wash. Um, it is much better than smelling the, the oil stains. Uh, the no paint gel stain is much stronger, much, much stronger. I don't like, I, I'm kind of sensitive now, like, to that. I don't like no paint gel stain because of that. I do like it. It looks really nice. I gotta admit, I do like how it looks, but I don't like the smell. If you use it outside, it's much better. If you do outdoor. I do like how it looks. Our, need... our next week's project has it. I'm going to show them the top. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to show you but the wait, top I, without I'm, showing you the piece. Hold on. So now I can see that it's very light so once now i start wiping it it's gonna be even lighter so what i'm gonna do i'm just going to add some more gray because i can see it's very uh, transparent so my brush is already very wet so i'm just gonna like add some more to make it more gray and then when i wipe it it's not like all gone See? There you go. Difference? Very simple. Nothing. nothing so simple. So simple. <laughs> it's very simple. Everything's simple for you. It is simple. With paint. I'm pretty sure it won't be simple if I do it. It's simple. Whitewash, a wash technique. Uh, that's the technique I lo learned uh, after I learned. Do you wipe it down in between then? No, I didn't wipe down because if I wipe down, it was everything. So was in this strong. case, she didn't wipe it because uh, it's too thin. But yeah, I you do normally that. wipe it. Uh, you do wipe a wash, well, but I want to say that the she's what she's saying is the wood sucked it all up. I want so. to say that the technique is different when you're doing on paint because when you're doing on paint, wash is staying on top of paint and then you wipe it off. When you're doing on bare wood as a stain, the wood pores are open and the wood uh, sucks all in. It leaves just less. So that's why I was like, okay, I put way too thin. So let me add some more gray. So now I'm gonna take this shop towel and I'm just gonna, you see? And I'm gonna go light because I like it. I like how it looks. So she's removing it lightly. What that means is... Are you uh, ready to translate for <laughs> um, I know what that means now because of yesterday. What that means is she's not like going... She's not putting a bunch of pressure and power into the wood with her towel. Which I found out about this during the last project I filmed. And that's why I know what is happening right now. But apparently when you put a lot of pressure, you take up a lot more paint. And uh, it gets really light on something light. Am I right? Is that what happened last time? Well, last time it was stain. It yeah. was stain, but it was the same problem. Yeah, I was wiping it way too hard. So I learned. So this is what's happening right now. Kind of like the top front combo. And this is what it used to look like. How does chalk paint differ? They're all, Annie Sloan and Dixie Belle, uh, it's like, uh, they're both really good. And it's like, it's like, hmm, it's one is, I'll give you the simple version. One is thick and easy to texture. One is thinner and gives you a smoother blend. look and easy to blend. You can achieve the same things with both of them, but 
So to get texture with Dixie Bell, you're going to add a little step in, work a little more, and to get it smooth with Annie Sloan, you're going to add a little step in and work a little more. You can do anything with pretty much anything. anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> so motivational. You can just do it all. So now I'm not adding any more gray. Whatever is left over on the brush, I'm just going over. Just slightly. Why? I don't know. That's how I want to do it. I don't think it makes any difference. I just want to like add a little more touch of gray. Rust-Oleum is latex based and weren't, weren't, well, I gotta tell you that I've seen my wife use Rust-Oleum and uh, it does work the same as most chalk paints. It's a thinner one. It would be more along the lines of a Dixie Bell than an Annie Sloan yeah. in terms of consistency, but it works like a chalk paint. If it has latex in it, they did a real good job because I've seen my wife use it. Where Waverly is more texturized, that Waverly is the cheapest one on the market and it's more like Annie Sloan. They're both cheap because uh, Rust-Oleum is what, $19 for 32 ounces? Mm -hmm. But it's more in the family of Bear and Dixie Bell and self-leveling paint and then Waverly and uh, Debbie. <coughs> And Annie Sloan. Said, it's just, I had to laugh. Somebody said his mom's, uh, his kid, her kid said, I want a mom like gotcha. <laughs> Do you know? They watch your channel. That's kind of cute. Do to boy has a mom like gotcha. You love your mama? Okay, so now yeah, I was saying about Waverly. Waverly is more like Annie Sloan. Hello from Switzerland. Hi. Sorry, continue. The Waverly is more texturized like Debbie and Annie Sloan, and those are like texturized paints where, you know, they have a lot of texture. Which one hey, is more? Hey, hi, Dana, how are you? Uh, continue, sorry to cut you off, go. You just keep cutting me off. Because I'm right. talking to the people. <laughs> it's okay, let me finish this. So pretty, I love this so much. Like, it, the, the orange is gone. That's the point, you know, for that orange. There's a lot of ways to protect the chalk, chalk paint, Kirsten. We have, a, we have workshops on it, but basically there's wax and there's top coats. So I'm going to use... Uh, we literally just did a workshop on most of the basic things you need to know. So you could, like, anything you want to know, you can put, like... Gotcha workshop and there's a playlist or you can just put what you want to know like gotcha dry brush gotcha workshop top coats i'm pretty sure it's gonna come up because oh, uh i like this i will see where it stands after it gets dry it might get even lighter because of the uh i can see that wood is just like sucking everything in that's how dry it was and maybe when everything is completely dry, I might go over and do another wash coat. And maybe not. Maybe I just go with this natural uh, gray wash look. So I will see. Oh, yes. You can watch the replay. I did, uh, I did the dry brushing up front for everybody. We did this. Hold on. That join us now. Oops. We did, uh... we did this. Dry brush. Uh, it was already painted in Hurricane Gray to save time, so you guys Gucci. don't have to see the the uh, what do you call it? The base coat. So I'm and gonna stain it and dry brush and add some gold. I'm gonna uh, do some more dry brushing on the legs since uh, we still have time. I'm gonna do some more on the legs. So it's coming out really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. So, first, we're going to do these corners. Uh, Lisa, I don't understand the question. I did read it, I don't really understand. What is the question? It's gone now. Uh, it just gives me, you know, it just stays for a few seconds.
I don't know if they can see it. I think they can see it. And let's do one side. So I can show them how I do side. Okay. So pretty. This top came out so pretty. This Hurricane Gray is such a nice wash. Wow. It has that brownish look still. It reminds me like a, a, like a smoky, uh, like a smoky stain, like a light smoky water-based stain. I love it. So let's do this one. Can I get the same effect without sanding? Uh, no. Not, you can't Not get the, the wood grain to come out. No, no the same. it it's won't be, be the same, but you can chalk paint without sanding. I have uh, tutorials where I do, I have whitewash and I have blackwash uh, on top of chalk paint. And it looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a glaze, uh, but it's not the same. You know, everything has its own thing because when you uh, send to bare wood, when you do a wash on a bare wood, it's completely different when you uh, do a wash on the on paint. So uh, one day I will demonstrate live white washing on top of on top of the whoops I got too much here so what do you do when you get too much nothing I'm gonna go back with another brush and fix it but now oh, with gray yeah so let's go here um yeah Lisa there's no if it's darker and you want it lighter there is no way around it I think you have to send I guess, what if you added like, What? no, that's not going to work. What, no. if you, what if you threw pickling white stain on something that's like brown stain? I did. It doesn't look the same. It's not. I did. I tried. <coughs> what like happens? It. I didn't really <coughs> like it. Okay. Dude's a boy. What's up, Dude's a boy. You going to go get him? He's out there? You going to go get him? Let's go get him right now. Let's go get him right now. He's dying for me to open that door. I can't believe how much he's like focused now on that door. Like he, because the squirrel and the bird keep us. coming out there. He's like, I don't care about you guys. I don't care about your life. I don't care if, about anything. And that's how we Are you going to seal it with wax or gator hide? I think I'm gonna do the bottom. I think I'm gonna do the top uh, uh, Big Mama Butter. Big Mama's Butter? Yes. Okay. And then I, I might do the top with gator hide. I, I'll see how what I'm gonna do. It doesn't really matter. Actually, it kind of matters. You mean the, the top with gator hide and the rest with Big Mama's Butter? No, or the other way around? Oh, the other way around. Okay. Because I want to keep that natural. Big Mama Bada, I started uh, lately using more as a, as a protection and I love and I learned that it's made out of different natural waxes like, uh, I don't know, different. Coconut, coconut oil, coconut wax, uh, hemp oil, something like that. Like mm, a few and it has essential oil and it's a really durable once you apply it, it's shiny and it's like a lot shiny and then you can either leave it for 24 hours and then come back later next day and then get the uh, extra or you can just leave it for a few days and the paint is going to suck everything in so it's really nice I did next Friday's video I did everything in Big's Mama Bada it smells like oranges like who doesn't want oranges right so that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding more dry brush. Yeah, there's a squirrel out there, Terry. <laughs> He's dying to get out there for the, the squirrel he will never catch. He's chased so many squirrels. He actually, his uh, hunting career, he has got one mouse. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, he got one mouse. Yeah, that's right, house. that's right, in the farmhouse. Uh, they really can't see. Because <laughs> right, if I put it that way, they can hear you better. But if I do it this way, I can 
I can make sure that I oh know Oh my where... god, it's all pretty. What do you guys think? Do you think, ah, oh, you see how I'm like, ah, oh, like sloppy, that's sloppy. Look what you did. Why don't you fix it real quick before we go? With, uh, show fix. them how you do this. Let me fix it. Let me grab a little brush. Another brush. So, this is sloppy to me. That's just me, like, ugh, like, you know, don't do that. That's just not. So, you go back cool. to your base color with another brush. I got another it's cheap hurricane brush. Hurricane gray, new chip brush. Oh, sorry. And same thing, dry brush. Unload it and just go slowly, pulling it back. And then when that dries, you're gonna have to go back lightly with white. So it's just a back and forth playing with it. Um, to fix it, that's how I fix it. Worst case it. scenario, you just repaint it and re-dry brush it, but you can just dry brush your way in like she's doing now. You don't have to just go all the way gray. You see, so. So she just brought it back and now you can Grab I usually wait a couple minutes for this to dry, but for demonstration, I'm just gonna go in. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> you see? It was a cheap chip brush. <laughs> She's just a beast. There. She makes it look very easy. I agree. Fixed it. Did I fix it? I did. Would you dry brush hardware? She does it all the time. Hardware looks amazing. Actually, I love to go crazy on the hardware and add different colors, shades, just a little, like let's say I do white and then I do some blue and then green and then I do... Bye, Christina. We'll go, we'll, we'll, we're almost done and we'll come join you too for a little bit. Yeah, we will, after this, we will uh, go over to Christina's uh, live. So yes you can dry brush i love adding different colors and different details and then gold at the end and then when you look and when you you know it, in the big picture it doesn't make a big difference you stand and you look and you're like wow it's pretty but when you really like look at the just the hardware you, you can see all these these different colors different you know dry brush colors uh and i really really like love that so much so that was so nice today, right? Are we done? I think we can be done. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Let me show them again. I oh, think I crap. I think I showed them a piece of the piece. I've been trying not to do that. Oh, well. Next week's video is... Uh, Next week's video Kind of like a beginner, beginner video, video. White on white. Oh, here's the stain. Is, or the wash. Everything me. is white. And I did the pull, uh, card, card holder pulls or, or uh, cap pulls, and everybody voted for cap pulls, so I did went with Hello, Portugal. With that, and that is. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of next week's video. Uh, just a quarter. Let me see how I do this. Okay, this is the top. Let's see. And that is Dixie Bell white. Pickling, Oi. something like that. White pickling gel stain. That's it. That's a sneak peek. You want it for the other handles? That is hilarious. I know there was just a few people that wanted for card holder pulls, and I was like, oh, okay. I really wanted for card holder pull to win. Let me tell you, I wanted that to win. But since I did poll on Instagram and YouTube, what's the point of poll if I'm gonna do anyway what I want? So I was like, okay, I'll listen. But I really wanted to do card holder pulls. So, what time it is? Oh yeah, perfect. We're almost done. So that was it for today. Here's Duty. Duty, what are you doing, my baby? Huh? Here's my Duty. He feels much better. He's loved, everybody loved Duca Boy. So he's doing much better, thank God. And uh, we're done with the beautiful table. It was a quick demonstration how to dry brush and how to do a wash, how to use a wash technique. Oh, I'm hiding Duke, sorry Duke. 
uh, how to use wash technique to stain wood. Um, I will finish this table probably tomorrow. No. Oh. I will finish this table probably tonight or tomorrow and I will put the final picture on Instagram and, uh, and my Facebook page and I'm going to do a little video for TikTok uh, like, a, you know, what everything I did. So thank you guys so much for coming, for joining us today. We're missing Lea. Lea doesn't care. Like we're all here except Lea. Um, upstairs, she's upstairs on the couch. Um, she, she's just enjoying herself. And thank you so much for coming. Uh, Barbie, thank you so much for your donation. I really appreciate Ooh, that. Awesome. That was a nice surprise. I, I was really so <laughs> shocked. But thank you so much. Thank you for all uh, membership, all members that you guys are members month after month. We started a couple <laughs> months ago. Uh, thank you for all always watching my videos, commenting, liking, and thank you for always supporting me. I really love you guys so much, and I will see you again maybe next time. Maybe Monday. Monday you are with uh, Melissa. Yes, Monday we have a podcast. We have the top drawer on the podcast, Melissa, and then we have... Um, uh, Friday's video next Friday, but maybe I uh, decide to do another live because I love doing this. I kind of enjoy. I'm having fun. Duke boy is walking by. So uh, that will be it for today. Today, guys, I will see you uh, on Christina Muscari Pretty Distress YouTube channel where she will be uh, doing a live demonstration too. Um, love you guys. Bye. Happy Fourth of July. Okay, how do we end this? <laughs>